Firstly, thank you ever so much for joining me on this video. Today, we are gonna be looking at a little banger of a PC. This little mini PC is absolutely loaded with features. We're gonna go through in a second what the video is actually gonna consist of. I've broken it down, and if you look down in the description below, you're gonna have timestamps everywhere. We're gonna put it through graphics tests, we're gonna put it through GPU, CPU test. It's got eight gig of RAM, 128 gigabyte internal storage, loads of ports, you can put three monitors on it at once, dual Wi-Fi 2.4 gig and five gigahertz networks. Now on this channel, we have reviewed quite a few mini PCs. And I'm gonna say, this is the best one that we've done so far, like hands down. So if you are new to the channel, think about subscribing, or if not, just give us a thumbs up, comment down below. I'm gonna link all the information for this mini PC down in the description below as well, above all the timestamps. So hope you enjoy the video. Good day everyone and welcome to the mini PC review and this is an absolute belter. We've got a breakdown of what this video is gonna consist of and that is as follows. I've separated it all nicely for you and it's all gonna be timestamped down in the description below. So let's have a look at the specs of this mini PC. I told you it's an absolute banger. 128 gigabyte of ROM, the J4125 processor, which actually worked really well when it comes to gameplay. We've got 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi support. You can add three screens to it. It's 4K UHD and Windows Pro already activated. Obviously, you're going to get the mini PC in the box. You're going to get a user manual, a power cord, some screws, HDMI, and there's the bracket to fix on the back of your monitor if you want. So we're going to have a look at the setup guide. Now, I know a lot of you are actually Windows users, so this is going to be self-explanatory to you. I'm a Mac user, so obviously I've sped this up 652%. Basically, you want to connect to Wi-Fi, and if you have a Windows account, Adobe account, then everything's just going to link in and talk together. Now, I have the um, Windows uh, Master Office Master Suite, so everything there was already online, good to go. So the whole process did take about 10 minutes of set up a pin. You know, it's a lot of security measures and also personalization. Do you use one, uh, do you wanna use Cortana? What are you gonna be using this for? And then you are pretty much good to go. And there is a special discount there for one pound for the Xbox Game Pass as well, which I nearly went for to show you some games, but we've got four games coming in a minute if you remember the breakdown of this video. So, several minutes later, we are good to go. So next, we're gonna do a benchmark, CPU and GPU test. We're gonna use the Nero score, which is an application from the Microsoft Office Store. So, what it's gonna do is gonna run through hundreds of pictures, and these pictures are gonna have AI tags on them, meta tags, and it's going to see how quickly it reads these meta tags and it's just going to go through loads of them. This is step one of three. The second one is going to be rendering a video. Now it's a, a, a video that is the same video for step two as it is for step three. You can see there's three steps in total, three ways to benchmark this mini PC. Now the J4125 processor is used commonly throughout mini PCs, but I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to gaming, and I, I keep reiterating this, this works really well. Shortly, I'm gonna show you 30 seconds of four games. So 30 seconds each, there is a countdown timer. You can skip on, you can skip back. You can go down into the description and see where the timestamps are, but you'll see how well the gameplay does. Anyway, so we're on test two or three at the moment. So that is now measuring how fast your CPU can decode and encode AVC on a fixed test video. And that's the video playing at the bottom, created 4K video created by Nero. This benchmarking software. So once we've done that, we're gonna go on the third test and we are done. So we are in better than 21% of the results. Our score is 1154 and we are good and average in most areas. So that's really good for this mini PC. 
with the J4125 CPU. You know, yes, the AI tagging is 138, which is below average, but we're talking milliseconds. It's going to be negligible. So I think it did really well. So now we're going to go on to browsing and YouTube. Now, I am not going to spend ages on here because by default, any decent mini PC should be able to browse the internet and she should be able to watch beautiful content over at CSS Coda. Yeah, a, a plug to my channel. The channel that you're on right now. You can see we've got loads of technology related stuff. So I know you just want to get to the gaming now. A couple of things before we do get there. Each, there's there's four games that I've recorded in total. So we've got Minion Rush, we've got a Shoot 'em Up, we've also got a Aircraft uh, World War II flying game, and then we have Asphalt Legends 9. So they're increasing in difficulty for the mini PC to handle, okay? So they're all recorded on my games catcher, 720, 60 frames per second, but it's been upscaled to 1080p here. So the graphics on the flying game were maxed out. The graphics on Asphalt 9 were maxed out, but I had to lower them down to best. So there's 30 seconds each. There's a timer in the bottom right hand corner. Let me show you just how good this mini PC is at gaming. Let's go. One thing I forgot to mention is that with its 128 gig internal storage, you can upgrade it to an SSD. You just unscrew the top, plug it in, you're good to go. So you can then have an SSD, which will make everything run faster. Gigabit Ethernet, 2.4 and 5G. It's absolutely fantastic, great looking. It's got an LED face on the front as well, on boot and on power off as well. If you did like this video, head over to the channel, subscribe. You're on the channel, just subscribe now. Thank you so much, everybody, for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. See you soon.